It all started with cards and memorization. One of the greatest minds the world has ever seen. Introducing Jim Carroll, author, speaker, and mentalist turned memory expert. He has been studied by Florida Hospital for his brain and memory and is a frequent speaker at MIT. Jim has also performed at several USO tours, working closely with our military and wounded warriors. Now, taking his knowledge and skills to the podcast world, interviewing some of the most impressive minds, and allowing them to tell their stories about how they beat the odds. Beating the Odds is brought to you by Signal Relief, the drug-free pain relief patch. Please visit SignalRelief.com and use promo code MEMORY for an exclusive offer only for our Beating the Odds listeners. Welcome back to another episode of Beating the Odds with your host, Jim Carroll. Today on the podcast for episode 10, we have Dr. Louis Turry, astrophile and astropsychologist. This man has predicted events like 9-11 and many others, natural disasters as well. He even gave me a psychic reading on the podcast. Please enjoy this episode of the podcast with astropsychologist Dr. Louis Turry. Hey, everybody. Welcome again to Beating the Odds. Uh, now, the last episode, I really I went out of the box a little bit with my buddy, Dr. Jim Hart, talking about lost time and everything else. So I thought, why not go really out of the box and bring on another great friend of mine, Dr. Louis Turi. Louis, are you here? Louis, where I, are you at? I am here, Jimmy. Thank you for inviting me. I'm in Arizona, 118 degree a couple of days ago. It's pretty oh, hot. my God. That's right. You're in Arizona. Oh, <laughs> my God. Right. Yeah. And Louis, Louis is a world famous. What would you call yourself like a like a. Uh, not an astrologist, you call yourself a what? What would you call uh, yourself? An astrophile. Astrophile yeah. is, or an astropsychologist is a mixture of traditional astrology with uh, modern uh, uh, psychology. And you have to remember, I teach who is who in America in the letters with cancer research surgery. So doctors, PhDs, name it, uh, are my students. You cannot de delegate my cosmic work if you're not, uh, if you don't have a, a certain amount of intelligence or education. Yeah, and see it, and we the beating the odds. What the concept basically is is I have people on that beat the odds, or how other listeners could beat the odds, and things like that. Now you did beat the odds. You overcame cancer. Is that correct? <laughs> That's correct. It was a pretty pretty uh, tough situation. I was teaching in Bangkok when I realized that I had cancer. That was very dramatic. You have to go through so many emotions. You know, I had accepted my death, but I refused. I refused my two oncologist uh, direction who told me you got to have some chemotherapy. Instead, I was walking uh, and listening to my little voice and uh, I landed on the uh, vegetable area. And I never seen those roots or never ever tested some of the vegetable. And I brought everything home. I juiced everything, put some honey, drank it. And then for some miracle reason, all this nutrient that was never in my body before helped me to get rid of the cancer. It's been, what, over 10 years now? It's all gone. That's absolutely amazing. See, because that's one of my beliefs is ESPN. I, I think we talked about that a lot. Exercise, your brain and your body, S for proper sleep, P for positive energy, and N for nutrition. So you basically did the N for nutrition and a P. You were extremely, you're an extremely positive guy. I know that. I mean, unless you're doing a dire prediction, which we'll probably get into <laughs> later on. But yeah, that's amazing. I mean, I, when I heard about how you overcame that, and you look great. My God, you look thank great you, right thank now. You. I'm yeah, only 70 yeah. years old. Oh my no. God, it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I teach my student that the future is nothing else than the reincarnation of the thought. So if you're positive, uh, you're going to tab on that immaculate power that we all have to regenerate. Yes. But if you're negative, you're going to affect the atomic structure of your body and you're, you're going to open uh, your entire system to infectious organism. It's a simple as that and it works the same with COVID-19 if you're afraid of it chances are you're going to attract it a magnet will attract a piece of wood so if you're positive if you go in the sun and if you get some of this vitamin D if you exercise if you have a normal diet and you 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 above normal positive you can only regenerate and avoid all this mess that's a little secret that I have learned and teach my students see that's incredible because I like I said I truly believe not only does the ESPN that I talk about help your brain, but now I, I think it helps you with your immune system. As you just said, it's amazing. And you're, you work out. So I'm sure, and you're working out your brain. My God, I, I don't know anybody that has the astrology <laughs> facts memorized like you do from the stuff. 
Like, tell me, like, tell me about myself. What do you see about me? What do you see in me? Well, I mean, you and Aries. Aries rules the head, okay? And on top of that, you were born with the head of the dragon, which is extremely powerful in the sign of Aquarius that uh, regulates the genius. In fact, Einstein has the same dragon as you have. Wow. And it's not an accident for you to be a leader of the mind and knowing that Aries rules the head. You know, you have 12 signs of the zodiac, 12 apostles, 12 sins, 12 jury, 12 tribe of Israel, 12 knots of music. Uh, all this wisdom... Uh, was uh, captivated uh, by all the popes who were taught astrology by the Vatican Council. So you being the number one, Aries, and then Taurus, the neck, Gemini, the hands, the voice, Leo, love, your heart, cancer, food, your stomach, Scorpio, of course, the sex, the reproductive area, all the way down to Pisces. On the medical aspect of my work, there's a tremendous amount of knowledge that can be passed on. And again, I have a, a top top psychiatrists that have been taking my crash course uh, of astro psychology in Sedona saying to me, Dr. Chui, I have learned more with you in your crash seven day course than seven years in an accredited college or university. There you go. Now, there's a big difference between education and intelligence or a gift for that matter. So when people expect to gain more with people who are supposed to be the expert, very often they are wrong. Those who are supposed to know don't necessarily know. That's where I'm coming from, out of the box, like you say, you know, different, like you, unique. Yeah. <laughs> now, is it mainly like when you're doing the astrology, like is it mainly – the zodiac signs, or is it the star chart? Like, how about tonight? We have a full moon. I mean, does that mean anything in prediction? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, oh. We have a, we have a full moon on New Dragon's head in Aquarius. So um, Aquarius regulates the sudden release of energy, earthquake, explosion. Aquarius oh. regulates anything to do with NASA. It's not an accident for the, that uh, uh, spacecraft to land on the ocean. It's not an accident. Again, that's why a few days ago I said, be ready for earthquake at six or above six point. Uh, 6.0 and then we had two one at six and 6.2 and then i do that constantly constantly and if you keep uh, looking at my uh, forecast or my youtube videos or my newsletters for my website uh, it's undeniable it's mathematics you know as i told you a few times in the past i'm not a psychic even though that my mother used to say well you're more psychic than what you believe um there is definitely something here but i am a scientist a different type of scientist i create a software i have asked Alwan software in los angeles to help me to create a software uh, uh, that uh, that shows the dragon. And you have to remember, Nostradamus uh, 500 years ago didn't have a watch or a computer. So divine astrology is symbolic, is spiritual, and it's very, very accurate. In fact, my uh, webmaster tells me, Dr. Turi, your website is loaded with hits from India, from Vedic astrologers that are wondering how the hell <laughs> you are able to pick up earthquakes, uh, pick up earthquakes. Again, as you know, I was on George Norrie giving the exact date of Katrina, 9-11, everything was written in detail to the point where he brought the FBI twice in my Yeah, house. I want to get into that with the 9-11 thing. But first, now you mentioned you brought up Nostradamus. Now, I, I read about you long, when we first met, well, how many years ago? Wow, we met a long time ago. and We hung out in Phoenix, in Vegas, L.A. But... <laughs> Nostradamus, you were you were born in the exact same town in France as Nostradamus, correct? That's correct. I was born. Yeah. I was born in Provence, France. Yes. Uh, again, I have nothing to do with Nostradamus apart from that. Of course, I was born in the same stars. How do you know you're spent, not like a reincarnation? I don't know. That's what people say. <laughs> I have nothing to do with him apart from that. I have. Uh, spend a good chunk of my life rekindling his methodology. That's why I write quatrains. That's why I write keywords, because I don't have to feel the friends inquisition to kill me. So uh, it's all open. Nostradamus had to keep his head on his shoulder. So he had to write in the nebulous, mystical ways. Me, it's all in the open. And on top of that, you have uh, um, keywords that are more than obvious. When I say, be ready for us quick at six or above on six points zero uh, and then the next thing you know i signed a uh, certified mail and email which i have still to the seismologist institute in pasadena and i told him in october 7 and october the 6 you're going to have a earthquake above 7.0 exactly on the date that i, I know gave it. that's freaks me out and when i see that, that from you yeah because look at 
and, and I don't know, Louis, Louis is like myself. We're regulars on coast to coast, a big radio show with George Nori. And Louis goes way back to the art bell days yet. Louis has been That's on correct. that show more times than me even. And yeah. I remember listening to one time you were given a prediction on coast. To, and I'm talking several months, several months before it happened. He talked about the towers and terrorists and how, and then, and then it came true. And then FBI showed up to tell everybody about that. That is an amazing story. Well, That's, you know, yeah. I, I, what I did, um, I, I wanted to be nice to my people in France. So I went to the French FBI and I typed them a nice email and I said, well, be ready on that date. You're going to have a terrorist attack and then you're going to have another one in New York. The next thing I know, I have four FBI agents in two occasions. Two at a time, they came and knocked at my door. They, they thought I was a sleeping cell. They said, how the hell do you know there's going to be a terrorist attack on that day? So they looked everywhere in my house. They looked at my statue, my green card. They looked everywhere in the house. So I, I took them to my office and I said, look, here you go. There you go. This is what I use. Uh, and I show them my software. I show them a lot of predictions. I show them all sorts of things. Uh, but, you know, they didn't get it. They were kids, like 35 years old, maybe 40 years old kids. So they did not, their, their spiritual values were not um, uh, accentuated and high as they're supposed to be. They could not enter the archetypal, the archetypal realm of supracosmic consciousness because they are not students. They are not educated in my field. And that's why a lot of people say astrology is a sort of science. It is not. And, and you probably heard of J.P. Morgan, right? You know, he wrote Millionaire Don't Use Astrology, Billionaires Do. So that is something very real. And my mission, of course, is to bring this back into our college university and, and help the kids to regenerate. Because if they don't regenerate, they're going to kill themselves. They're going to get a machine gun and kill everybody. And that's the state of this world by going against God cosmic rules. Now, your predictions are so on that's what freaks me out about you i mean and that's why george has you back on coast to coast as a regular guest to, to do yeah. these predictions and in fact in fact i was yeah. i was on coast to coast last august last uh, october and i said george be ready for big huge fire that are going to kill millions of animals two weeks later i remember it was the australia fire killing a lot of animals i mean even the the coronavirus was predicted in great detail everything that happened uh, uh, with uh, the, the trump's presidency i don't want to be political but the day before president trump was elected i erected its stars and when you elect a president um you are going to suffer the fate, the idiosyncrasy of this president, all these stars. He's like the father uh, of a family. If, if the father is a Mormon, if the father is a Scientologist, the entire family below him are going to suffer his stars and everybody is going to follow the father. So Trump is the father, so to speak, of the biggest country in the planet. He has a lot of power. And his stars are now melting and reflecting upon the state of this world. This is a long story. I don't want to go there in detail, but you can yeah. click, go to Dr. Thierry, you can click or President Trump for President Dr. Thierry, whatever it is, and read all that transpired. And you're not being political. You're not, you you, no. know, you didn't want to, it's not like you. No, I don't even yeah. vote. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I don't even vote, Jim. Yeah. You know what? Um, my, and it's, uh, that's the problem because people are so emotionally connected with their president, but they should be, don't get me wrong. Uh, but they cannot uh, detach themselves from their emotional response to their politi political belief or, or, or views. And they don't understand. They're trying. You don't kill the messengers. My work has nothing to do with politics. I'm all about prediction. Leave me alone with your political belief and it's it's i mean you could see on my youtube video what i get it's just amazing <laughs> Talk, uh, talking about the covid how did how did that like affect your business because my god you were going all around the world and I, oh, i'm sure I, you're not I, doing personal appearances much if any right no, I, I am swamped i'm booked all the way up to next year january but it's all you virtual, know, decided, virtual decided. like this though or, or yeah. You, yeah 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 I, okay. I, this is how i work but you know i knew I knew the new dragon's head was going is a mercurial dragon. Mercury is a god that is represented in Greek mythology with wings on his heels. This this mercurial energy is all about. Uh, 
transportation, communication, writing, publishing, education is a very, very powerful dragon. You have it in your mind right now in your third house because you're born in April, April, May, June. And that's why you're in the radio. That's why you're launching something. And that's why uh, you are reaching outside of this country. It's all preset. What you're doing is not an accident. There are no accident gyms. There is only cosmic circumstances at work that society in our infantile scientific community has not yet uh, digested. So knowing this dragon is going to be all about communication and driving, I decided to take my CDL license and all my endorsement. Uh, I just felt I had to do that. Next thing I know, I got friends and students in New York. Nobody wants to drive in New York because they don't want to bring that mess into their family. Plus, it's a long trip and it's cold, it's wet, it's dangerous in the, in the winter. So I decided to do that. I'm driving for FedEx. It double. And I'm going helping people physically and spiritually. And as far as my work is concerned, I am swamped. I am swamped. During this very negative, difficult time, people are knocking at my door because they know that uh, they have following me for years. And they know that if I say something, it's like, you know, it's money in the bank. Contrary to those people who are supposed to be the expert in Nostradamus, uh, they don't give a precise prediction or specific dates. I do. And I put, you know, my reputation in line because I know what I'm talking about. So as far as you're concerned, you have this uh, celestial cosmic winds affecting your critical thinking, your mind, and it's all about communication, and that's why you launch your podcast. In fact, yesterday I did a YouTube video when I did a little forecast for Aries, and I'm going to be doing forecast for all sign of the Zodiac in all the 12 next uh, YouTube video that I produced. Oh. And talking about all of that, uh, <clears throat> you, 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 uh, I think there's quite a number of celebrities that have reached out to you and you've been helping. And, uh, yes, yes. There are some that I cannot mention name, but... Uh, well, we can mention you... one name because he's coming on the podcast. The next, oh, next Gary, podcast. Gary <laughs> Busey, my good friend. Gary. Gary, Gary. But also, President Trump's ex-wife um, uh, is also a... Uh, a client of mine. Oh, wow. Ex wife. That's, yeah. Then there's a lot of uh, uh, people that I cannot mention in my head to respect their privacy. No, I know, I know. You, but Gary is different. Yeah. Gary is, uh, is, is, is a friend. He's yeah, like, he's, you know, yeah. he's different. He, you're going to have a very good time with Gary. Well, I, I believe you. I, 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 I'm, I'm, Gary I'm, was born. Gary was born with the planet Uranus, which is the sudden rise of energy, the planet of shocking. Uh, that makes him a very unique guy but he's far from being stupid the guy is a genius i mean you should see the video one that he did for me in, a, in two minutes without any preparation he's a real gifted actor you know we talked like a couple times this week and he's he's hitting me up with i can't wait to see him on, on the podcast he's hitting me up with all this memory stuff i'm like you got to be reading that stuff there's no way you have that memorized so now i'll be able to see it on the podcast that he has it truly has him and the, the book he had the buseyism book oh. i mean i remember when we were in vegas together the three of us and and he's doing <laughs> back then he didn't have the book and and no. he's like and wow those buseyisms are amazing well, i can't I, wait to get into that with you him. know gary was born in june he's got all this energy on himself so I told him, you know, Gary, you need to write. You need to pass on your wisdom out there. I use your ingenuity this way. I, I, he wanted me to publish his book, but I don't have the, you know, the time to take care of him. So he went to another publisher, but his, uh, his book is doing really good. And it's pretty interesting. He, is, he cracks me up sometimes. Even me, and I know him like a, like a brother, he shocks me. So be ready. <laughs> Oh no! All right. I'm, I'm, I know. I, I I'm I'm looking forward to this. So that would be really great. But but yeah, th this is really amazing uh, to 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 be talking with you, Louis, because uh, like this is a weird time that that the world's going through right now. I mean, the weirdest that I've experienced. I mean, we're both older gentlemen, and exactly, I've never exactly. seen anything like this in my life. And, and like, what do you see with this COVID? Is it how yeah. is this going to linger? Don't even tell me it's going to get worse. I it's mean, going to get worse. It's oh, gonna get I don't want to hear worse. that. I Jeez. am worried about Russia also. Um, oh. is it, this is just the tip of the iceberg, Jim. Oh, <laughs> man, buddy. We don't want yeah. that. No, but, you know, I cannot tell you what you want to hear. That, that's a sad reality. Um, there are things that should have been done. Again, I don't want to go political, not into that. But all I'm telling you that uh, uh, if you think you've seen bad, Wait, 
wait uh, is going to go all the way to 2021, 22, and 23. What? Come on. I don't want to go that far. But there are other things in between that can happen that can save us, put it this way. Uh, you have to remember also that this timing that we are talking about right now and so involved UFOs, and that's why you have the government releasing UFOs pictures. And then my, on top of that, uh, one of the reasons why I'm doing so well is because of my, uh, my movie on the UFO, uh, Alien Contact, is doing incredibly well on Amazon Prime. So there is all sorts of things that are the enter the this energy, uh, but it's 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 not going to be good. It's not going to be good because it, there is a kind of dying and rebirthing of the United States that has to go into that. There is a complete restructure of the banking industry, a complete restructure of all the corporated uh, groups. Uh, there is things that are hidden. There is a wake up call from hell coming to humanity. And that may involve the reality of extraterrestrial within the next two or three years. I go that far to tell you the time we are in is absolutely incredible. And the good news is out of the ashes, the, the eagle will rebirth. And that's the good news because America was set by God himself through the cosmic code, to be a ruler of this world. America was born in July, July 4, 1776, the incorporation. July, August, the head of the dragon of America is Leo. Leo was power, fame, right in the second house of money. This tells you why America is so wealthy and so powerful. America is meant to lead the world. Anything that goes against the regulation imposed by the cosmic code, the God cosmic jurisdiction, is bringing a very heavy karma on this country. But sad enough, our rulers, not only in the United States, but all the politicians all over the world do not possess cosmic consciousness. They do not know who they are, where they're coming from, and the type of fate they have to, to deal with to serve humanity. So those who are in power are the least knowledgeable of the forces that are integrated in their makeup. Their UCI, their unique celestial identity is not evolved enough for them to rule properly. But that's going to change with the new age of Aquarius. The age of Pisces lasts 2,000 years. Deception, illusion, religion, uh, anything to do with confusion, this age is going away. The new age of Aquarius involves technology, our space brother. It involves the future of humanity. It involves humanitarianism, unification as a whole. You cannot go against the new age of Aquarius. So we are melting into the age of and that's why this world is getting smaller and smaller and smaller and everything is moving into technology. There is a purpose behind all this, not just COVID-19, Jim. Understand me, a very higher purpose that has to be fulfilled. That's God's order. And time will prove me right because time has always been and will always be my utmost faithful witness. That's amazing you're saying that because I took my whole show now and obviously, we have to do a lot of programs over over the Internet, Zoom and things like that, virtual shows like my my last guest I had on Mike Super. He's a good friend of mine and he's a magician. Same thing. We can't do live shows. We have we have to do them virtual. So everything we're doing now is with technology. So so when we were out in Vegas, I have to ask you this. Be, when I'm playing a game like roulette or blackjack is gambling is there is that in the stars or a way oh. like do you don't even tell me yeah really yeah absolutely you have you have positive and negative cosmic biorhythm let me explain to you first let, let's understand the rules positive and negative up and down black and white the front the back god devil daylight male female yin yang two eyes two arms two legs two sides of the brain do you understand that everything is symmetrical two weeks two weeks one month six months six months one year you see the split Okay, you have a physical world and you have a spiritual world. Now, you have days where you wish you had never getting up because the first thing you get is a bad telephone call. Then you got a flat tie. Then you get a ticket from a cop. You have those days. That's called negative cosmic biorhythm. It's all based upon your UCI or your unique celestial identity and your stars. Now, there are days where anything you touch turns gold and everything goes your way. Because you are, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> you are in the one of your positive 
cosmic biorhythm. This is why there are people that can that are at the right place at the right time and win the lottery, and people that are at the wrong place at the wrong time and die. Jim, there are no accident. I repeat myself. If you get enough cosmic consciousness, you can use this power to win a lottery, to do all sorts of things because the stars don't care and God does not judge, doesn't discriminate, doesn't think, he just gives. That's why when I say to you, the future is the reincarnation of your thought and you have to be positive in order to attract lack or to attract anything you want. You need to conceive this fact. I have a book called Beyond the Secret. It's a 600 page book that gives you all the secret of the superconscious. In fact, I'm going to give you a copy of it. I'm going to email it to you. I'd love to see that. Yeah, you, you wouldn't, and that will add to your own power, okay? To your own values. It, you know, knowledge is power. Ignorance is evil. That's what it comes down. But all these metaphysical rules and all those powers were cast aside um, and was used only by the clergy or those in power. You know, the Illuminati knows all this. The people that have a supreme uh, wisdom that are in charge of this world knows all this. You're not supposed to. So I'm taking a chance when I pass on information of such a high spiritual order. But it works. So again, do your positive cosmic biorhythm. That's what I do for some of my students. I, I, in fact, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make your own and then email them to you. you can, you're going to test those dates all throughout the year. I usually work out the entire year. Believe me, on the dates I'm going to give you, it ain't going to be a normal day. You're going to have a fantastic day or you're going to have one of the worst day of the month. Yeah, I heard, of, I heard of that biorhythm stuff. I used to play around with that. But th so I I'm anxious to know now. Okay, November 8th, 1990. Is when I had a dream about the two 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 on the Pennsylvania Daily Number, and when mm -hmm. I went around the country, hey, play this number on December twenty second. Play this number on December twenty second. The number actually came up. So I had one of these positive things on November eighth, nineteen ninety. Is that what you're saying? And not only this, but you also stimulated the mind of a lot of people that wanted to win, that needed the money. It's like, let me give you an example. Again, I don't want to be political. You know, President Trump wants to build a big wall, big and tall, and it's being built right now. Okay, well, you don't need the wall anymore. The wall has changed into COVID-19 because what the wishes of the president was to put America in a box. And then now we are completely completely uh, uh, disassociated with the rest of the world because of coronavirus. The, the, the president has stars. He has wishes and he has millions of followers who, like him, um, don't like foreigners or God knows what. I don't want to go into the detail. So they support his thought and thought are things that translate into something you can control. And in this case, COVID-19. I remember Art, Art Bell. On, remember Art Bell? He passed away. The, the host of Coast to Coast. That's all he used to talk about, having the masses think of one thing and, and it could come true and everything else. I kind, yeah. I kind of believe that's possible. I mean, like, no, it is, it is, it is a fact. I've yeah. studied it and I have a book. Yeah. In fact, as far as Al Bell is concerned, when I was in the show in 1995, I said, Al Bell, be ready for a religious war between the United States and uh, the Middle East. He says, what? And I still have, we have, I have the video, the show on YouTube. Yeah. He says, what, Dr. Cherry? A religious war. And that was before Osama bin Laden, before the invasion of Iraq, before 9-11. I remember that. I used to listen to you all the time. I'd be driving around all over the country, college to college, <laughs> one o'clock in the morning, boom, coast to coast. And our guest tonight is Dr. Louis Torrey. Man, I'd, I'd stay tuned to that. If it was somebody <laughs> I didn't know, I would tune off and put some music on. And I'd, But if it was you, I'd listen to you. And a lot of the UFO guys, I, I, I'm into, you know, that's my, I love UFOs. I love, I, tell me, tell us a little more, tell the listeners a little more about like your show that you have on, on television and, and what is your belief in that? Like, what do you, well, is that in the stars? Or are we going to find out yes, one day? Yes. Is everybody going to, is this going to be Absolutely. mass new? Yeah, really? It's already happening. This is not a joke. I'm past believing UFOs. I've been dealing with extraterrestrials since I'm six years old. And my, and then I spoke about uh, four UFOs experience in this movie. Okay, five and I have two more. But I'm going to tell you one just now, real fast. That just happened to me. Um, uh, 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 FedEx said to me, Louis, you need to drop some, a couple of trailers in Vegas. So I took the truck, loaded, did everything I had to do, went to Vegas, did everything perfectly and came back. And they came back, they said, Louis, you need to go back. We have another load. No problem. So I was driving. It was 2 o'clock in the morning. I was listening to George Norrie, uh, 2 o'clock in the morning, repeat 
Okay. And then because I was in the middle of nowhere, I couldn't hear him very well. And they were talking about contactees and people, if we're going to see UFO one day in reality or anything else. And I was thinking, you know, with all the experience that I went through, uh, maybe, maybe I'm a chosen one, you know, just this is how I thought. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, I was going at 65 miles per hour. Nobody in front of me, nobody behind me. I was driving. All of a sudden, in the middle of this two-lane highway, this, uh, the road turned into like a, 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 a Y, two roads. I jump in the brake. I say, what the hell is this? This wasn't there yesterday. Excuse my French. So I didn't want to flip the trailer. So I stayed on the right side and I literally managed to take the, to take the, the van. And in doing so, I activate the camera. Security, you know, FedEx has camera inside and outside for accident purpose, insurance purpose. And I say, what the hell is this? This wasn't there yesterday. I was so confused. The next thing you know, I pick up my speed and I am from 93 going north. I am now on 40 west. And the only way you can go from this highway to the other highway is by taking a very long overpass, nearly half a mile overpass. The overpass was not there. I find myself on Highway 40 West. I was so shocked. I asked my boss the next day to check on the camera, to check on the GPS. Everything was there apart from that moment was deleted. That? Now, this is my latest, my latest experience with Structure a few weeks ago, which is not mentioned in the movie. I am a magnet because I have a lot of Aquarius like you in my chart. Um, again, when you have a lot of Aquarius, Aquarius is a, a uranic energy that, uh, that uh, magnetizes extraterrestrials, the future geniuses. It's, it's a very uh, unusual energy. And every one of us has this energy. In fact, uh, Travis Walton has this energy also in, in his chart. And that's why he was electrocuted uh, by the, the reptilians, a negative group of extraterrestrials. See, watch, I wear gold. If you wear gold, you're going to be attracting the right extraterrestrials. Gold is a metal of love. It doesn't rust. And it shows uh, uh, the energy of the drug. Carnies, which are the very productive extraterrestrials, I call them the gardeners of this world. Um, on the other hand, the opposite of, of gold is something that rusts, and that is metal or steel, which you make bomb, or you make uh, guns, knives, machine gun, bullets. So when you have a lot of uh, metal, you attract the, the reptilians. And then when you have a lot of gold, you attract the Dracanis. It's just common sense. It's all magnetized. It's all energy. So when Travis Walton uh, is an Aries like you, and usually as a rule, Aries jump. You know, it's the first sign of the Zodiac. They're not exactly wise. They learn by mistake. They are very active, very productive, very competitive. And what he did, he went right into the flying saucer. But it's Arizona. He had a lot of tools in his truck to cut the trees, and he has his gun. Everybody had gun, including myself. So all this negative energy attracted the, the reptilians, and they just literally shot him. They killed him. And uh, luckily for him, the draconis were hanging around, and it took them three or four days to bring him back alive. You know, I was with him on, the, on my last UFO lectures uh, in a cruise in Mexico. I spoke to him, and I asked him, I said, you know what, uh, uh, if you had one area of your body that really felt like really hurting, I already knew the answers. He's an Aries. Aries was the head. What was the area that you would complain the most? He says, my head, my head. So I was right. So now that Travis Wall, I remember that. Now, didn't there wasn't there a movie made about that? About yes, him? yes, uh, yeah, yeah. What was it called? Uh, uh, Fire in the sky. Fire or in the sky. Or? Yes. Travis has one experience. Yeah. I have seven all together. I attract these things like there's That's... no idea. This is a vast universe. It not only. Uh, I have seen them. I've been into the flying saucer. So I talked to them. The, the experience that that uh, was mind-boggling. Talk about something. All right. We got to talk about that sometime in, in the night. I'm calling you up. We're going to – you tell me that whole story. I want to hear that because this is what I'm into, and I'm jotting all that information down from okay. people, and I want to write a book about that one day. Hey, now talking about the – so when is this going to become mainstream that everybody – actually sees it on CNN and Fox News and everything well, else, a, it, a saucer landing somewhere in the world. Is that going to happen? Do you see well, that? yes, yes. It's like, it's like the incident in Roswell. That was a, a scout ship, a reptilian scout ship that was a little yeah. bit too close to the Earth that was shot down by the Draconis. They, you know, the Galactic Federation of Grand Cosmic Order forbidden any extraterrestrials to interfere with the humans' affair. But sometimes they have to for good or for worse, and the, the reptilians don't care. They abduct people, they 
they, they do all sorts of negative things. They are totally against the law. They don't care about the rules. Uh, so it's a long story that I would explain one of these days. But that, all these experiences led me to the downloading of the cosmic code once I went inside a flying saucer and allowed me to make, to make predictions, to read people, allow me to, uh, to pass on information that well, well, well ahead of time. That's the beauty of all my UFO predictive legacy. What I'll tell you what, Louis. What's the date today? Is it like uh, the third of August? That's yep. correct. August third. Mm -hmm. August third, twenty twenty. Today's date. If you could give a prediction right now of when it's going to be mainstream, that there'll actually be a saucer landing, that all the news media will be there taking it on on what date would that be? I already answered this, that. This, this would this would go viral to, to the whole world. Exactly. You're predicting it ahead of time. Exactly, and it will. Um, What's the date? Uh, I want to hear it. The, I already answer you. In right. within the next two to three years, the world's wow. going to get a wake up call. The wake up call is going to come uh, a, a, a complete rebirth. We are literally connecting into the age of Aquarius. So that's going to accelerate all this UFOs phenomenal activity. And it has to come to the light. Now, you government doesn't know nothing. They don't know who they are. They don't know where they came from. Uh, there is nothing that is reverse engineering. You know, uh, you know, it's like asking a fish. Because extraterrestrials are master of mathematics, they are master of matter. It's like asking a fish to to reverse engineer a laptop. They are so ahead of us. We're still using fuel to send a, 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 our a vehicle 200 miles above the Earth. Uh, so you know, you see, we are at the very early stage. Uh, but one thing is sure: we're never going to go on Mars. We're already there with technology. But human will never set foot on Mars because it's not part of the program, so to speak, with the extraterrestrials. It's, it, it cannot go to the details just yet again. Uh, but I'd like, I'd like to give you an idea, if I can, Jim, when we have time. And uh, you have asked me to do the stars of one of you. Uh, one of you oh, yeah, you know what? That's a great idea. So uh, give you an idea. Uh, I, I, again, my producer, Ryan. Ryan, are you, you're listening. Oh, there he is. He just popped on. Ryan, give Louie your birthday. What's your birthday? September 2nd, 1998. Okay, question number one. Do you suffer headaches or sinuses? I do not. Okay, good. You never had any stitch on your head? You're not accident prone on the head? I don't think so. Okay, good. So you're progressive. This is how I see if a sign is positive or not. Okay, you have... Uh, I'm looking at your chart. You see you have the... The head of the dragon conjuncting your sun sign and Virgo, so detail oriented, fussy, peaky, natural health, green. You're talking about a sign that is meant to delegate with details. Now you look at your tail of the dragon is in the sign of Pisces. That makes you an artist, musical, dancing, singing. I don't know what, but it can. Yeah, thank you for confirming. And it makes you also uh, uh, very emotional and very sensitive. Are you afraid of water or not? Just a question. Not a afraid question. of water. Okay, good. Any problem on your feet? High heart, flat feet, surgery, accident? Um, no surgery. Probably, um, I think I'm flat-footed. Sometimes I have feet issues. Yeah, yeah, okay. I mean, the dragon is right on your feet. So careful on water. Stay away from drugs and alcohol. Got things you have that very critical, virginal, Virgo that makes you <laughs> sometimes a little bit of an anal, but it is to save you to stay away from negativity. Are you into a natural food and natural uh, heating properly? Yeah, properly? I'm big into health. Good. Yeah, that, that's very good. Now I got, I, I'm going to show if you, I'm going to check your dragon. I want you to give me a number between one and 10. Eight. Eight. Eight is two, two, four. Okay. And four and four means uh, the base of a pyramid. You are rebuilding. Now, is there any other number that came to your mind before eight? No, I I think that was the first one. Okay, this is good. So you you are in the process of restructuring. Now, the what I can tell you is that your relationships area have to be reevaluated. Okay, so that's going to be a little bit of a heartache for you, maybe. I don't know. I don't want to push, uh, but be ready. You have a complete restructure of your relationships. Some are going to be coming in, some coming out. Those are with you. Other don't support, don't promote. They need to be removed. And you're good at that. You're good at getting rid of the people that are not supporting or endorsing your fate. Okay, you also have your Mercury conjuncting your um, your Venus, and in Leo, so God wants you to shine with your words. So that means you can write. 
can take pictures, you can do all sorts of things on the intellectual level. You're a messengers of the God, as I see. Uh, your moon is in Capricorn, you, uh, that means you like old building, you like history, do you like classical music or not? Just a question. Just a question. I used to play it. There you go. You see, that's what I'm saying. I see all that with you. Uh, you tend to attract people much older than you when you're young. And you would attract and you would attract them much younger as you get older because you have a very, very long life ahead of you. So all I can tell you, my friend, is that currently um, the energy are working on your home area. So you may be forced to buy a house, a sell a house, or restructure your, your, your base of operation, and you have a restructure of your career, which is going very, very progressively. Now, and there's much more about you, but I can only touch you a little bit. Can't even believe all that. <laughs> that 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 was even that was uh was a little crazy well i'm i'm, I'm glad you can you know what you're doing <laughs> yeah we are yeah believe me i'm 70 years old i had a, a lot of years to study and thank you i really appreciate you're that. surely welcome my friend you're surely welcome god bless you good luck to you <laughs> thank, thanks ryan there he is dr louis tour everybody hey if you uh louis where could anybody get a hold of you if they want to well, first of all if you if you want a reading from me be ready you have to wait a few months i'm very very busy the idea is to get a reading and then forget about it maybe uh you know uh, somebody you know is not available then you jump in more rapidly but go to drturi.com www.drturi.com and then from there, you can, you know, jump into my YouTube video, read my newsletter, jump on my movie, give me some stars over there, give me your feedback, and I take care of you the best way I can. And how about me? I could just call you. Oh, get one, you, right? you, you, James, <laughs> you know, no problem. I have the Nostradamus Dragon forecast for 2020. I'm about to write the 2021. I got to be very careful on how I actually uh, generate uh, this forecast because it's going to be pretty, pretty dramatic. It's like dying and rebirthing of the United States. And it's pretty, pretty tough. And I'm very worried about uh, Russia. But... Yeah, 20, 2020 is it's, just a, it's, I wish it, I wish it New Year's Eve, it could be 2020 all over again. Let's, let's get rid of this. Well, it, 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 do it again. You know, I, I, I just hope, I just hope to be wrong. And, you know, in all that I just mentioned in your show, but I am not here to tell people what they want to hear. I am here to tell them the undiluted truth, which sometimes vex people because they cannot handle it. But one thing I want to make sure that you understand that the path of God in, in every one of us, it's much stronger than the dragon, than the stars, than the reptilious negativities. Uh, so the idea is to realize that you are more than one flesh and nerves you have a soul and you have an inner power that is part of you a cosmic identity okay once you are undergoing all this hell it's a blessing in disguise in the long run so we are in hell right now every one of us okay i do my best physically and spiritually to help a lot of people but never never give in always have hopes because this has to end it will end and we're going to be in such a much better place because comically the united the united states has to undergo some very very deep changes it's happening dr louis Tory, everyone in my opinion the best in his field by far the best the best the best thank you so welcome. much Louis. Welcome, Jim. good luck to you you're, is uh, my good friend gary you're awesome man. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with Gary. Yeah. Bye bye, Jimmy. Bye bye. I'll, hey, I'll, you'll, I'll, you'll, be, you'll be watching that as soon as you I put it up with Gary. <laughs> bye yeah. bye. Thank you for having me, bro. All right, buddy. Bye -bye. So, thank you, buddy. Thank you. Hey, everybody. This is it. Signal relief. I know what you're thinking. What the heck is it? It looks like alien technology of some kind. But let me tell you something. This really works. I mean, I worked at a steel mill. I lifted weights when I was younger and I hurt my back so bad and chronic back pain for the like, I don't know, the last 20 years. And my buddy Mike sent me one of these in the mail, stuck it on my back while watching TV for an hour. And all of a sudden the pain's gone. This is the real deal. Brave reviews, signal relief. You can find it on the podcast site, jimcarroll.com forward slash podcast. Or I think it's signalrelief.com is connected with that as well. One of the best things I've ever seen in my life, signal relief. Thank you once again for tuning in to another episode of Beating the Odds with Jim Carroll. Today on episode 10, we had Dr. Louis Turry. To learn more about Dr. Turry, please visit drturry.com.
Also, don't forget to visit SignalRelief.com and use exclusive promo code MEMORY only for Beating the Odds listeners. Make sure to watch the podcast on YouTube that's Beating the Odds or Beating the Odds with Jim Carroll. Thank you so much for tuning in for another episode, and we'll see you on the next one.